This Sunday, the lectionary lessons that we have appointed are very comforting and empowering. We will begin the first lesson from this passage from Isaiah. Be strong, do not fear, here is your God. And it goes on to say, the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the lame or the uh, dumb man will speak, his tongue will be unstopped. Such a, a really powerful way to say that we have a full and rich life in God's grace. And this is sort of a foreshadow for the gospel lesson where we have a very tender healing passage from the gospel narratives where Jesus Christ does this miraculous healing of a person who is both blind and deaf. And it's this idea of a fullness of life coming through the presence of Jesus Christ. And of course, those themes will wind their way all through the service, and it's a wonderful idea of having full life because we are having baptism this Sunday. So what a wonderful way for us to talk about the fullness of life as we welcome a new member of the household of faith. Musically, we have a little bit of a German theme in the middle of the service. At the sequence hymn, that hymn that will come between the Isaiah passage and the gospel, we'll be singing, Blessed Jesus, at thy word we are gathered all to hear thee. And it has lots of those ideas of hearing and sight, again, linking that idea of, of having all of our senses be acute in the presence of God. It's a text that is originally a German poem, um, and it's, this is a translation of that poem, and it's set to the music that it was originally sung to during the Reformation. Um, it's a very soothing and gentle German chorale from the early, uh, from the early Reformation. And then at the offertory, the choir will be singing a setting of Lobodin Heron, Praise to the Lord the Almighty. And of course, that's a hymn in our hymnal, 390. But this is a setting that's a little bit more adventurous than maybe what we would typically have for the congregation. very sprightly and has a lot of uh, dance-like rhythms to it. Significantly, the composer, Hugo Distler, was an early 20th century composer and was one of the first to uh, reawaken this awareness of the early Baroque dance rhythms. Last week, we talked about A Mighty Fortress is Our God, and when Martin Luther originally composed that tune, that it had a much more dance-like feel than the very staid, ironed out chorale by Bach, that, or version by Bach that we are more familiar with. Dissler was one of the first to recover that dance-like uh, attitude of German Baroque music. Um, Dissler is a little bit of a tragic figure. He was young enough, he grew up uh, in, in Germany as the Nazi government was rising, but he was young enough to not really attract a lot of attention, unlike scientists like Albert Einstein or an older composer, Paul Hindemith, who was um, pushed out of Germany at, as the Nazi government was rising. Dissler sort of flew under the radar screen and yet he was so involved with uh, church music and with the spiritual side of music that the tension between his life's work and the um, dominance of the Nazi government and what they were doing in secular society was too much for Dissler to bear. And at the young age of 34, Dissler took his own life, but he left behind some really beautiful music. We'll also be singing a German chorale at the offertory, and it's the, a chorale melody that you might know from um, Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring, uh, but it's the chorale that comes from that, um, not, not the wedding piece that we're familiar with. But then also at the closing hymn, we'll be singing Oh for a Thousand Tongues to Sing, which again harkens back to the ears being unstopped, the lame walking and leaping for joy. So we have all of this idea of an abundance of life where we have access to all of our senses and all of our abilities in the grace and presence of Jesus Christ. So we hope that you will join us as we celebrate these things, baptism and fullness of life, 
Also note that this is our last Sunday to have Lakeshore services, so if you have one, one more chance to enjoy that fullness of life outside, we invite you to be there at 9 o'clock or with us here downtown at 8 o'clock in the chapel, 10.30 in the church.